Yo, what's going on? Young Quay, Doug, whatever you want to call me. I'm barbecuing today. I got my sauce going. Matter of fact, I ain't showing y'all what that is. Feel me? Got my little drink on. This is what you do when you're, when you're home alone. Listen to music and barbecue. Now, I'm doing everything with one hand. So, yeah, I definitely got to gotta bet with your boy. Mm -mm. I like Mike. But not right now, B. Oh, that's, ooh, that's fire. It's that fire right there. The reason my, my grill is smoking like this is because I have, I got pecan wood on there, I got hickory wood, and cherry wood. And basically what I'm doing, I'm trying to get all the smoke to go into the inside of my chicken. I'm about to season my chicken right now. I'm using one hand, so like I said, y'all bear with me. I'm just going to put some honey on top of it and some uh, Paul Poudon seasoning. Lots of smoke come off here. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, my chicken is already brown. It did way better. See, when you really, when you really, really smoke your food, then your chicken turn like it almost get like a golden color to it, look like ham. But let me go ahead and season it. I'm gonna take my um honey. I put honey on it because when I use the honey, it'll uh the seasoning, the seasoning will stick to the honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just soak the honey all around all the chicken, and you do the honey first. Like I said, so your seasoning can stick to the honey. And this chicken is pretty much done, believe it or not. I'm gonna add barbecue sauce to it, but the way I smoke my chicken out, I really don't have to have I really don't have to add barbecue sauce to it. Cause as you can see, it have like that golden color to it. All right, so that's honey. That side is glazed with the honey. Let me get my Paul Poudon seasoning. And hurry up and put that on top before my chicken start burning. As you can see, the fire is coming up. And nobody don't eat burnt chicken. So let me go ahead and take this grill right quick. Let me put this fire out. If you ever have a situation where that happened, you pretty much you put your top back on it. You close everything and smoke the fire out. Anyway, as y'all can see, I got a problem going on right here. So I need to put this fire out. Once you see that smoke come back up like that, that fire is pretty much done. But basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm out to smoke, and I try to get it in, but it's too hard to do it with one hand. So I'm gonna uh, look at that. See that smoke puffing out there? The fire is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's a done deal. Look at that. Call the fire department out here, man. Complete with me, B. Anyway, shouts out to the Undertaker. Shouts out to Big Slam. Get at me.